All right, today we are in the Taconic Mountain Range of southwestern Massachusetts and northwestern Connecticut. Our goal for today, visit the Mount Vercel South Slope, which is the highest point in the state of Connecticut. We part at the uh, end of East Street, almost right near the state line. Taking this trail up and over Round Mountain, which by the way it will be my first mountain summit in Connecticut. Been hiking in uh, Connecticut before, but I never hiked any summits. Okay, take it over Round Mountain, then go over to Fursell South Slope. Then we're gonna go try and see the uh, summit proper of Mount Fursell, which is in Massachusetts. Might even go visit the uh, Massachusetts Connecticut New York Tri Point, which is the point in which the uh, three states boundaries intersect. Might go visit Brace Mountain too, which is a county high point in New York, not far from the high point. So pretty much you're hiking three states in this one hike. Anyway, off we go. Trail so far is pretty easy as far as steepness goes, but it's surprisingly somewhat rocky. More so than a lot of trails in the Hampshire I've hiked. Adds the challenge, I guess. Anyway, onward ho to our first checkpoint, Round Mountain, we go. All right, just thought I'd mention this trail is blazing red. So if you ever get lost, look for the red blazes. Oh boy, steep section. Now I remember watching a uh, fellow state high pointers video on YouTube and I mentioned a uh, steep section going up to Round Mountain. So this must be it. Steep climb up to the summit of my first Connecticut mountain. At least I'm pretty sure it's in Connecticut. Anyway, off we go. Wow. Actually decently steep right here. Reminds you of New Hampshire and the Whites. Connecticut's holding out on us. Besides that, there's actually some pretty good scenery here too. What I hope is going to be uh, good views on the top. It'd be awesome if I could see New York City. If not, no biggie. Wow. The hike from uh, Mount Washington Road to uh, Mount for South, South Slope and back. It's only like two and a half, uh, 2.6 miles round trip. But it has some fairly beastly sections like this one. I actually got some scrambling. Never thought I'd find that in Connecticut. Let's see. Getting some peekable views out there. Oh, there's Bear Mountain's little bro- Nah, not for South's little brother, Bear Mountain. Mount Everett in Massachusetts, I think, is right there in the background. I think. Either that or it's out there. I, in case you haven't noticed, my geography for this area is quite rusty. Anyway, onward we go. <sighs> Another scramble on the trail to uh, Mount Fursell. All right, I can't film this while well, walking at least, so I'll meet you at the top. All right, you got a view. First one of the day. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Been in a lot of 4Ks in New Hampshire. I mean, not a lot of them, but some of them. This is a beastly little climb to get to Round Mountain. And it's really, really hot for the uh, time of year it is. It's gonna hit 70 degrees today. So yeah, I probably should have wore uh, shorts. I didn't know it was gonna be this hot and sticky. Whatever it is, it is. Anyway, if something interesting comes up, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, we'll meet you at the top of Round Mountain. All right, welcome to the summit of Round Mountain, located in the Taconics of Northwestern Connecticut. Over there is our main destination for the day. Well, technically down there is the uh, Massachusetts to or attempt to. Let's pan around because the views a lot better than what I was expecting. And the summit's a lot more open than I was expecting too. I think that's Everett over there. Got to for sale. Anyway, 
gonna leave you with some pictures, take a water break, and then I'll meet you on the way to Mount Forsell. There's Mount Forsell, front and center. But, got a bit of a drop into the call between it and uh, Round Mountain. And Round Mountain and the trail around it, surprisingly and pleasantly, relatively open. A lot nicer than I thought it was going to be. Still got a hundred, uh, another whole part of the hike left. See how that goes. Wow. Connecticut has some rough little mountains. I'll say that. It's kicking the crap out of me somewhat. Steep, rocky. Might as well be in the White Mountains. The views remind me of it too. Whoop. All right, I'll quit babbling on. If I see something interesting, I'll show it All to right. you. I believe this is the true suburb of Mount Forsell in Massachusetts. The south slope is a little down that way. It's gotta be, it was dictated by the sign. And register. If this is a south slope, it's say Mount Forsell South Slope, not Mount Forsell Summit. Plus, I think the uh, State High Point has a view, whereas this one does not. But hey, it's another new peak in the bag, Round Mountain and Mount Forsell. By the end of the day, hopefully, I'll be up to 280 in terms of a uh, number of peaks climbed throughout the world. Not much to hear, so. I ain't going to take another water break, sign the register. Then I'll meet you at the south slope of Mount Forsell, the state high point, assuming nothing interesting happens. Wow, this view is incredible. I don't think we're at the high point of Connecticut yet. Supposedly there's a summit register there and a uh, metal pin in the ground. It's like a little mountain lake right there. So far, this is a really fun little hike. Not gonna be very long, but it's fun and surprisingly rugged too with great bang for your buck views. Anyway, I'll take a quick panel shot and then I'll hopefully meet you at the Highest point in the state of Connecticut. Folks, we've done it. Welcome to the highest point in the state of Connecticut, the south slope of Mount Forsell, as dictated by the uh, metal, metal pin, the cairn, and the register. So yeah, I was pretty much right. There's a view. Okay, one, the view from that ledge down there is better. Better than the uh, true summit of Forsell, by a long shot, at least in terms of views. The way over toward the Tri Point and Brace Mountain, which I believe is over there somewhere, is that way. I'm gonna hang out here for a little bit. Eventually, I'm probably gonna come back here and uh, eat my lunch. What better place to eat lunch than on top of Connecticut? Let's see. This is my seventh state high point, and that means that the nearest one I haven't done is in New Jersey. Only problem is it's from my house, it's 270 miles away one way. So I probably have to do it as an overnight, most likely, or a really long day trip. Anyway, I'm going to take some darn good photos to preserve this momentous occasion. And then I'll meet you on the way to the Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York tri point. All right, we're headed over to the Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York tri point. I met a fellow hiker and high pointer at the East, uh, Connecticut State High Point. 
who said that's like a big stone pillar that you can stand on. Unlike the uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island Tri Point, which is a more spectacular obelisk, but you can't really stand on it. You gotta hug it to be in all three of those states at once. Anyway, if something interesting comes up, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, I'll meet you at the Tri Point. All right, welcome to the New York, Connecticut, and Massachusetts Tri Point. As I said before, it marks the point where the boundaries of these three states intersect. Right now, we're in New York. Right now, we're in Connecticut. Right now, we're in Mass. Awesome. So far, this is a stupidly, extremely fun hike. Not the highest of peaks, but nice little rugged terrain, some fun scrambles, excellent views. High points, tri points, what more could a guy ask for? Anyway, the uh, we're, next we're gonna go into New York that way and head for Brace Mountain, which I believe is over there. Then we're probably gonna head back and then uh, eat lunch on the top of Connecticut. So I'm gonna get some photos of here, including a photo op of me in all three states at once. Then I'll meet you on the way to Brace Mountain. All right, we're at the Ashley Hill Trail. It goes over into, I believe, the uh, Mount Washington State Forest in Mass on the way to Allender Mountain, which is also in New York County High Point. But I think we're just gonna go to Brace and call it and then go over to uh, Purcell South Slope and eat some lunch. Oh yeah, in case you haven't guessed, we just crossed the border into New York. Yep, we are in New York now. Going over toward Brace Mountain. Now brace yourselves, guys. This is gonna be fun. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that was bad. Anyway, to the South Dakota Trail All we right, go. we've reached the junction with the South Dakota Trail, which is a hiking trail that travels the spine of the Dakota Mountains in New York State. Brace Mountain, which I believe is just up there, is 0.4 miles away. Allender Mountain is 3.7, which is a little far away for me. At least for now. Mount Fresnel Trail, 2.2 miles to uh, Mount Washington Road. So let's see, 2.2 plus 4, 2.6, 5.2 miles round trip, not including a little diversion I had on uh, Mount Washington Road, which I never mentioned. The trailhead wasn't signed, so I thought it was a dud. So I ended up going almost Probably about a mile and a half round trip on Washington, uh, Mount Washington Road in the opposite direction. Oh, hello. Walking into the uh, valleys of the Hudson River. Hudson River Valley, that is. Holy farmland, Batman. Nice mountain, I bet there's a nice view from there. Unfortunately, I can't see New York City. Take a look on a uh, race when I get there. Anyway, I'll take a few photos of this because this is a pretty unique view. Then I'll meet you on the way to Brace Mountain. Alright, welcome to the summit of Brace Mountain. The high point of some New York County. I'll subtitle it if I can. There is an... Uh, Little peak out there, almost identical in height, but this has got to be the higher point. I mean, it's got a cairn, it's open, got a uh, windsock, whereas that one doesn't appear to have any of that. Plus, I talked to one of the locals and she said that this is the summit of Brace, so I'll go with her words of wisdom. This is probably the most grassy summit I've ever been on. You can take a bet, you can take a nap here and you'd be nice and snug and wouldn't be leaning up against any rocks. Still walking out toward the Hudson River Valley there, out to some higher peaks out there. Over there is Purcell. It's Round Mountain out there, I believe. And Allender Mountain is out there. Uh, 
This is a really fun hike. I wasn't expecting any of this. Heck, I might come back here to hike Bear Mountain just as an excuse to come back here. Well, plus it, Mount Everett too. Oh, man, this is fun. All right, we're back at the trailhead off East Street in Mount Washington, Mass. Uh, just to clear up any confusion, on the Connecticut side of that state marker, the road is called Mount Washington Road. On the Mass side, it's called East Street. Overall, this is actually a uh, really fun little hike. Three summits in three different states. Nice, fun scrambling, a lot of ups and downs. Surprisingly good views too. Pleasantly good views and scrambling. And of course, the uh, highest point in Connecticut, out for South South Slope. Pretty productive day, I'd say. Round trip distance was, well, would normally be 5.6 miles round trip, but because of my little diversion on uh, Mount Washington Road, it's probably closer to seven. Not sure about the vertical gain. As always, I'll post it in the credits. So from the trailhead on East Street, See you on my next adventure.